This is a patient who came in with some dysphagia who got uh, an esophagram. And so when you look at the esophagram, you can see almost immediately around the proximal to mid-esophagus, there's this indentation that's sort of not a normal indentation, but you can see it right over there. And uh, looks like it's due to something that's presumably external to the esophagus or potentially within the wall of itself. You can see that it's sort of um, persisting on multiple swallows, and we can see it in persisting on multiple positions. See it beautifully over here, very smooth border, so not really worried about an underlying adenocarcinoma or squamous cell cancer because of the smooth borders, and it really does look like it's arising outside of the esophagus or potentially within the esophageal wall itself. And so uh, a CT scan was obtained to further evaluate this. We can see on uh, the CT scan over here, this is the mass, that's the esophageal lumen that's being compressed by this uh, mediastinal uh, lesion over here, and it's low in density to start with. We give contrast over here, and we can see that on the contrast phase, uh, there's actually no enhancement. You can take the pre and post Hounsfield units, and there's no enhancement associated with this. And so the overall finding of this uh, was thought to represent a duplication cyst in the uh, mediastinum, which uh, demonstrated uh, external mass effect upon the esophagus, uh, presumably uh, contributing to the symptoms of dysphagia.